the baby kit is back. Now this isn't the exact same configuration as before. We got a different floor tom because the other one didn't sound so good with the jingles on it. Uh, the symbols are different because the other ones were Steven's. Which by the way, if you haven't seen this kit before, there's a video on my channel where Steven Taylor and I see if we can turn this kid's drum set into something, you know, halfway decent and something that sounds good. Then also on Steven's channel, there's a video where we do a drum battle with this baby kit. So considering what this kit is, it honestly sounds pretty good and is really fun to play on. The only thing though is the bass drum. It's only a 16 inch kick, so the beater hits way too high on the head. It just sounds really thin and papery and really bad. Also when you get into it, it starts to slide away because of the cheap legs, so today we're going to fix all of those problems. <laughs> So there's a lot of ways to make a riser for a little kick drum like this, but I wanted to do something simple and easy and cheap. Uh, so I'm going to use a little adapter kit for like a floor tom, if you're going to turn a floor tom into a bass drum, just because again it's simple, easy and cheap. So I'm using this kit by Pearl, it's the JG16 Jungle Gig Adapter. But seeing as this is already a bass drum and not a floor tom, the only extra things I need are two floor tom leg mounts. And then I also need a tom mount like this one. Uh, the only thing about this one is it's too small, so this piece doesn't fit. So I think I have one over here. All right, so I actually don't have one, so I'm gonna steal it off of this trap table. Uh, but that should be all that I need, so let's get to it. So I took all the hardware off that I don't need. I'm not too worried about the holes since I'll probably end up re-wrapping this drum down the road. There's also a few extra holes that I added because I was stupid and wasn't thinking, so uh, just pretend these aren't here and I'll walk you through how to actually do this. These three holes are from the original bass drum spur mount, and I meant to line up the new mount with this hole, but by accident I did it with the center hole. So it would have worked, but the leg was a little bit low and it kind of looked weird. It totally would have worked, but again, I'm going to rewrap this so I'm not too worried about extra holes right now. So I might as well get it right now instead of doing it later. So now I'll just take my speed square and extend the center point of this hole down here. And I'll do the same thing for the other mount. Now just got to drill the hole. And that was the wrong size, so now let's make it the right size. So now this should go on here, just like that, and we'll screw it on. Now for the pedal clamp, I put the tom mount on the, the clamp, and then I lined up this edge of the clamp with a uh, with this part of the hoop, which was a really bad idea. The pedal clamped on just fine, but when you play it, the chain would rub against the hoop of the bass drum, so I just need to scoot this forward about, I don't know, an inch or so. Before I play the kit, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of classes in music production, videography, business design, and so much more. A few weeks ago, you heard me talk about getting a new computer, and for years now, I've been using Final Cut to edit my videos, but I never really dove deep to understand all of its capabilities, because honestly, I'm the kind of person just to you know learn something on my own. But when it comes to, to doing that, especially with a software, you really don't understand all that it has to offer. So I've been watching tons of courses on Final Cut just to see what I've been missing out on. But one course that really stood out was on color correction. I've been messing around trying to figure out what looks best for my space and my lighting and my camera and all that kind of stuff. But this course really broke it down and showed how to get any footage looking good. 
A premium membership is less than 10 bucks a month, and that gives you unlimited access to all of the classes, all taught by experts, so you can learn something new or just improve on your existing skills. And for all you viewers, we're giving away a free two month trial to the first 500 people that sign up using the link in the description, so be sure to check that out. The kick drum is a million times better now. It's basically gig ready at this point. Uh, I spent a lot more time tuning it, so I think it sounds better compared to the last video. Also, I added a bit more muffling, so that helped out. But probably the biggest thing is just adding the riser to the bass drum because when you play on such a small drum, the small bass drum, the beater hits so close to the edge of the drum, which sounds really thin and papery, while when you play in the correct portion of the drum, you know, the center of the head, it sounds a lot better and has more body and fullness to it. There's a few other things I did to the kit to make it easier and more comfortable to play. So first I put the snare on a real snare stand so that way I can raise it up high enough so I'm not sitting all the way down here. Then also I mounted the tom to the cymbal stand so that way again I can raise it up and also just because I'm OCD I cut the, uh, the tom mount so it's not sticking down so far but you really don't have to do that. So those two things along with upgrading the kick drum makes this thing so much easier to play and so much more fun to play. So I think I'm gonna rewrap this kit. I'm not sure what color, so let me know in the comments. Also, I'm gonna try and find a small tom, a small floor tom to put here instead of using a real floor tom. And of course, I'll wrap it the same color. So if you have any color suggestions, let me know. But yeah, that is the upgraded kids drum set. So if you ever come across one of these things, don't be scared to get one because super fun, super awesome to play on. So yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.